All right, hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna save, but we just beat the griffin. So we are going to find the nearest uh, signpost that we ha can. Oh, perfect, it's right this direction. And we're gonna go talk to the Nilfgaardians and give them the head of the griffin that we just uh, got. And try to find out where Yennefer is. Alright, so back to the garrison. Back to the garrison. Back to the garrison. Make way. You make way. I've got a griffin to deliver. Is this Roy? You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I I, I didn't know. So a fool. Damn it! You never hey, look, he's not a nice guy. Codex, Article Two, Section Three, for the delivery of defective goods, fifteen lashes with a knout. Make it so. Yep, not a good no, guy. No, by the gods, no. Well. Any sympathy for Nilf Nilfgaard is gone now. I was like, you had one good captain. Nope, still a douche. Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tcha! <laughs> a moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. It's true. Yeah, I wouldn't have killed the griffin. Halt! What? We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. I'm not a fool. I will 100% take the money. Because I'm a broke bitch. And as a broke bitch, I know when I need to swallow my pride and take the damn money. I'm a witcher. It's part of the witcher code. Take the damn money. How much money did I get, anyway? Damn! I got like 150! That's not bad at all! That's actually really good! They pay well! Alright, back here so we can go see uh, Vesemir. And Vesemir can... Uh, take us to Vazima. So, let's prepare to leave White Orchard with Vesemir. Oh, hi, kitty. Meow. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... We're gonna head that way. Something wrong. Look around. Trouble brewing. Time we were on our way. Mm -hmm. I'll buy some provisions for the journey, then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it just this once. I mean, I try, but they're gonna start trouble, and then I'm gonna have to finish it. It's a whole thing, it always happens. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show to Marian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? Well, that's rude. She's just trying to not die. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. 
They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition, that they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? I'm a little afraid of her right now. Choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's go! Into the no. fire, and you don't fear the gods' wrath. You don't fear it, you cunt! Oh! This medallion. You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal youngins. That true? No. What the emperor promised you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Oh, these people suck. They won't back down now. Man, Vesemir's got a nice sword. There we go. Dead bandits. Quick and dead. I mean, yeah. See his face. God save us. Be gone. And don't ever come back. People oh, fear witchers. Involved. Come on, let's go. I like that they threw this in here because it's very similar to the story Geralt tells um, in the book and in the show of his first the first quote unquote bad guy ball, he fought we didn't start it oh it's yen he like stopped some bandits on the road from it's raping a girl and the girl got scared the dad got scared you it was a whole thing a bit. But hi yen y yen how oh. i received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in white orchard i knew it was you Looking for me. I might yep. have waited until you found me, but I don't know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's good to see you, Gerald. I I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. Mm -hmm. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilf Guardian escort. That is true. I did not imagine You're that either. Wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even. So you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, mm -hmm, I must mm -hmm. say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Uh, who would that be? Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. The Nilf Guardian Emperor. Emperor. As far as I remember, last time we Fun. saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't, though I could have. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. Oh shit, twist of the knife, Geralt. Twist of the knife! What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Care More. Remember? Yeah, yes. I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. Good one, Vezzy. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Okay, Yen. Damn. We're on our way. It's only ten minutes into this episode. Well, I haven't been looking for you for 
three hours. Four hours? Four hours almost. Like, three and a half. But alright, I guess we're going to Fazima. Fazima. Look at that texture rendering. Is it my stench that's causing them to cough, or...? About you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. It actually wasn't, it was pretty in innocent. Just the beginning. But then. Uh oh. Uh oh. But then this happened. Oh no! Well, that. Oh. Yeah, that man is dead. So one thing I don't know a lot about in the Witcher lore is the Wild Hunt. I really don't know that much because I haven't gotten to, like, the books proper. And I don't even know if that's a thing in the books proper. Like, I've read the short stories and the Season of Storms. But, like, I need to start Blood of Elves. So I'm very curious what this Wild Hunt stuff is. Well, it's good to know you're going to stick around for at least a day. All right, Yen. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. Mm -hmm. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Yes, I did. Thank you for the recap, mysterious voice. I do like a good bath. Although, I've never had anyone bathe me. Is that a thing? I don't think it's something I'd be interested in. I'm too self-conscious, and I don't like people touching me. So I feel like I'd much rather just bathe myself. I've also never been to a public bathhouse. Apparently that's a big thing in other countries, like you go and you bathe with a bunch of people. It must suffice. Because it always disturbed me, um, not disturbed me, that's the wrong word, creeped me out when I was younger and I'd go to like, like, the, uh, the rec center and you go to the locker room and there's just naked 60 year olds everywhere. The what now? Just naked people freak me out a little bit. When you're, you know, I'm gonna shower and go swimming in the public pool. Nakedness. So long story short, I don't know if I'd be into a public bathhouse. If you've ever gone, tell, tell in the comments. I'm very curious to find out. Like, is it is it an awkward setting? Is it not? I don't know. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. Oh, my elegance. Well, thank you. We consider beards hard on the eyes, especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine, do your thing. Tilt your head back, please, and sit still. I like my beard, though. I mean, we could go for a little bit of a trim or a shape up, but I like my beard. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Oh, but yeah, the other half of that thought More sponge baths. Never had that. I don't know if I'd be into it. It seems weird. I'm not gonna judge, like, if you're into it. Same with bathhouses, but it just... I don't know, it's a bit beyond my comfort zone. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth unknown. Parents unknown. Age unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. 
the siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander won Ariel. Um, I have no idea who this is. Should I do some Googles? I'm going to do some Googles, you guys. I thought the questions they would ask me would give me a little bit more context. But apparently not. Arian La Valette. Uh, all right. So he was the son of Maria Luisa Lavalette and old Baron Lavalette, and the half brother of Anais and Boozy. Aaron initially appeared during the Castle Assault part of the prologue, where Geralt can kill him and his men, duel him to the death, or force him to surrender. Should Geralt choose to kill him, that is the end. If he surrenders uh, during his encounter, he appears in the quest. Um. Yeah, all right, I'll spare him. Geralt's not a cold-blooded killer. We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. So that is how the blade started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsa, and from there made your way to Virgo. My question is how. Who, who is Iorveth? Iorveth. I imagine this is all Witcher 2 questions. Oh, he's an elf. Uh, was an Ein Sede elf and the commander of the last... Uh, Skoyatal commando to be broken during the second war with Nilfgaard. He was not extremely skilled, but he was not just an extremely skilled man, but a swordsman as well. He defeated the commanders of many special forces of the north, including someone from the Order of the Flaming Rose, except for the Blue Stripes Captain Vernon Roche. Even though he was always extremely proud of his race, Iroves clothes were a combination of elven and human. Uh... Survived the massacre following the peace with Sentra. Okay. Hmm, I'm not sure what to do. Not sure. I'm gonna go with Vernon Roche. Oh, that, that's, that's not a road, that's Roche, okay. That's another character, so which of the two characters should I? Of the Temerian military. I'm gonna go with Roche. I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes. And... A murderer of non humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Oh. I did not see that. Apparently Roche is not the best guy ever. I wish I had known. 
you were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. Tends to happen. Ah, oh, do I save Triss or a nice? I don't know. I don't know these quests. I didn't play this game. I should have gone with the default. So let's Google a nice and see who that is. And I eat and I eat. Okay, once again, you meddled in the first the mighty. I guess I had to help Roche save Anais. Hi, Oliver. Anais was not just any child. Yes, I'm I'm quite learning this. In a game you did not understand. Hey, hey. You and Roach did not rescue her at all. Come on, bud. At most, you moved her from one edge of the board to the other, fanning the flames of conflict. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Hey. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila to hey. bits. Um. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national All right, well, Oliver's apparently laying down next to the microphone. Difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer. I think that's the guy from the opening cutscene in the game. So Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? Possibly. I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please. Affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc. Et Here, um... With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I agree. I might have given you some advice. So long, Count. Good luck with your audience. It sounds like I've met him before, so, like, the Emperor. So it's not as though I'm in a disadvantage. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, mm -hmm, the gentleman mm -hmm. will choose from these garments. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once so, he has chosen... So, is there essentially gold, white, or black, apparently? Fine, I'll take this one. Alright, let's get dressed.
Hey, look, we're almost wearing the same thing. We got little poof balls. Clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? I guess. That a doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Novgorod. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Wow, this guy's uh I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please demonstrate. Oh sweet Jesus. Look I bowed. That sir is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. What's the difference? Please oh! Please. Leg extended. You know what the difference is? Flat. Head down. A whore on the street has Gen dignity, respect. The gentleman will rehearse. Gotta be kidding. Not at all. I am mortally serious. Does the gentleman know the penalty for breaches of etiquette in the Emperor's presence? 200 lashes. I do Jesus. Him, so I will not let him leave until I am confident that he knows how to behave. I wasn't paying attention. Right leg forward, hand on chest. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Left leg forward. Chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Northlings. I'll never be Miss Congeniality. I don't have fluidity and grace. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate type. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Oh, good lord. This is frustrating for me, and I'm not even in the room. Oh, what is up with their hats? Wow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer et do orde. Avelian namen, vat gern favot. I took a stand. Fight the power. So many months of Falter's court. Yet you still have unmastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. I mean, I am much older than you. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. He does not Lord seem a nice here. man. She's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Wait, so in the games, Siri is Nilfgaard's daughter? I, unless that's a twist in the books later on, because in the books I know that she's Sintra's daughter. Like, she's this from Sintra. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. It's great, I right? I to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanifu will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. 
She trusts me, yes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless, if for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My core Very hard. My will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Cool. Later, your arch malevolency. So that is a big change. If that is true, then that is a big change. The gentleman did not understand. Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the emperor? Relax. Nothing happened. To the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. Had there not breaches of etiquette for one day. Oh shit. I didn't even think about the Chamberlain. Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herobard the second, Prince of Elanda. I guess I should have bowed. Sorry, Chamberlain. But as I was saying As I was saying, if they change where Siri comes from, she doesn't come from Nilfgaard, she comes from from uh or if she doesn't come from Sintra, she comes from Nilfgaard. That's a big-ass change. I'm going to have to Google that. Because they walk you through... I mean, in the Last Wish short story, they walk you through her... They walk you through, like, her whole, like, you know... Law of Surprise thing. Hey, Yen, I might have just gotten the Chamberlain killed. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I feel horrible. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken. Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morhen. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trip them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the wild hunt does. Oliver. You're squeaking up next to the mic, my man. The wild hunt. What could it want from Siri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know So I Googled it. Do. 
And she, they did change it for the games, it looks like, if I'm understanding correctly. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So where's Siri been seen, exactly? I'll have to do more research when we're not recording, and I'll let you guys know in the next episode. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are Oliver. informed reports. Seriously, dude. Members. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently. It blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. I'm very curious about this. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Damn. I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Yes. Let's drop it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Well, then I guess I'll leave. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir are mm -hmm, in the wilderness, mm -hmm. talk to Ambassador Varatra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. I shall be waiting. Thanks, Yen. I'm going to go talk to that guy. Oh, that's something I can check on Siri here in the in the thing. Character, Siri. Um uh. Ah. Uh, da, 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 da. Huh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Her natural father. So maybe it's not that way in the books? I'm curious, because it says her natural father was none other than the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Maybe that's why Nilfgaard wants her in the show? I guess maybe the books too? I'm gonna have to look up more on Siri because this is confusing to me now, but regardless, we need to go find her. Sup, Chamberman? How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. 
He wants his daughter back safe and sound. As soon as possible. Yeah, mentioned something of the sort. So long. Can I change back into my clothes now? Hey everybody. I'm back in my normal clothes. Hold up. Is that a quest? Is that a quest I see? Mm. Oh, I don't see you. I don't care about Gwent. I know a lot of people really love it. I just could never get into it. It's not my thing. Bye, guards. So, fast travel. How do I zoom out? World map. Can't I technically have traveled from one to the other? So here's White Orchard. Oh no, it's just multiple areas. Okay. So yeah, so there's still a lot in White Orchard I can do. Might have to go back and do that a couple of times, you guys. But we're going to go ahead and fast travel to uh, Velen. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited. But something even more important happened in the Zima. Geralt yeah. that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had what happened? returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Well, so I guess that means that's what I'm doing. Gonna start uh, looking for Ciri. Apparently the princess of Nilfgaard. It's weird to me. Weird. I'll accept it, but weird. This load screen is actually taking a while. Taking a while, Oliver. It's a long load screen. Long load screen. Here we go. Hmm. Okay, we're still loading. There we go. Northern Tamaria. Five day. Five days later. Traveled here over the course of five days. Good old hanging corpses. Yay. That's fun. Yay. Oh, it's the griffin head. Just chilling on Roach. The thing's like six days old now. It's looking at me. Tongue lolled out. Faster. All right. Well, off to the crossroads we go. Damn, you're ugly. Come on now. Is that dogs? It sounded like dogs. That's it, Roach. Any contracts? Uh... 
Ooh, missing wife. That sounds like a quest. Okay. Let's still go find the inn, Roach. When a witch takes hold, they send her to the woods for kindling. We'll skip there to die. Is this the inn? Nope, this is somebody's home. Don't know which one's what. Our boys wish to surrender, but the black ones would. Set a hog to a hog. Apparently, Nilfgaard's just coming through, burning everything down. Because that's what they do. Is this the end? Ha ha ha! Dum de dum dum dum. Hi, pupper. There you are, Roach. Whoa! What are you doing over here, buddy? There we go, Roach. That's a little bit of a weird mix-up we got going on there, but. Come on. Let's go find this guy's missing wife. No idea how far down the road this is going to be. Slow now. Whoa. That is a quest. What do you want? I'm very curious. Rejoice. For even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the other Look, if there's only three of you and one of me, I think I can take you. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. Fine, I'll do it. All right. I like I'll money. Take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Alright, we'll do that later. I just want to go help this guy with his uh, wife. His missing wife. You good, Oliver? You're standing up. Squeaking along on the stand. What? Slow now. There we go. Much easier than before. What's going on, John? Unbind me for the next one's come. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. Samesies. John Verdon. Served in the 10th Maribor Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black one smashed it a bit. And I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, bursting mm -hmm. with patriotism, they were. 
Are they dead now? They learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need. They beat me down, tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. Yeah, fine. Fine, I'll help. I won't leave a man to be eaten by drowners. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. I might have. I'd like to thank you somehow, but I've not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. Alright, I guess that's my good deed for the day. Right, let me check the map. Alright, so the easiest way would be to go up and around. So north, this way. I mean, I could technically swim across the water, but that just seems like too much work, especially with all these drowners in the area. Yeah, there's a lot more enemies in the main world of the game. You know, White Orchard was actually pretty peaceful compared to the rest of this place. Not as many dead bodies or drowners. Alright, so what's this? Oh, in at the crossroads. A true brother, Mikkel, is missing. Anyone who finds him? Yeah, sure. I'm very curious who's... People screaming shit up in here? No? Alright, cool. Wait, why did it change quests on me? Wow, that is a high level. I am not that level. I should probably do this one first. What's the Witcher contract? Wow, that is really high. All right, so funeral pyres it is. Where are they? I meant to go to the world map. Kind of all over the place. So yay, me. All right, come here, Roach. I guess we're not done on the road. Go, go. All right, so we're gonna follow the road around most of the way. So it is kind of just straight ahead. What just happen what happens if I just run straight ahead? Am I gonna get ambushed? Attacked? out of the way all right that one's level four so he is a bit stronger come on there we go Go 
go ahead and collect all this. Can I burn the oils? Now for a shot of igni. Nice. Anyone to loot? No? Where are you at, Roach? There you are. All right, Roach, to the next one. Let's go. Why, why did you not want to turn the direction I wanted you to turn? All right, Roach, let's go. <laughs> yes, that is a cliff. Slower. Wait, is that a dead body? Hold on, Roach. Let's check that sword I just grabbed. Is it a good one? Actually, it's not. So, tits to be you. That looked like a bear. No urge to fight a bear. Yeah, sure stinks like a mass grave. Now for the holy oils. Hope they burn well. Wild dogs. This is a rot fiend. Whatever it is, it is not friendly. Oh! Okay. Well, he blew up. Like, he actually blew up when I hit him. Now for a shot of Igni. Let me back up. I don't want to be standing in the oils when I light it on fire. Seems like a bad idea. All right, Roach. Run, Roach. To the last one. Let's just see what I can get to. Oh, is it not good over there? Why'd you stop? All right, all right, I'll, tr I'll trust you, Geralt. Until I don't! Hopefully I don't just run off of a cliff. That happened to me one time in Skyrim. Oh, dismount. Shit, one's still alive. There we go, and then, what's up? Yeah, loot the bodies. If it ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. What's wrong? Priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual, just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out blades. Oh shit, what's the priest doing? We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire. What's he doing? I say so. Beat state pricks can't be trusted. What's he doing, Oliver? I ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times. Okay. Everything perfect. But the fourth, his man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of trade. Shut me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. Well, that's not good. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? Nothing. Didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, witcher. Yeah, no problem. I'll ignore that mutant's comment. 
Because technically not a lie. That's what the X's mean. They're the bodies I killed. Alright, let's uh, burn these. Go talk to that priest, because apparently he's doing some shady shiz. Not about that life. Alright, Roach. Let's go talk to that shady ass priest. Come on. Gonna go talk to that shady ass priest. Shady ass priest. Shady ass priest. Because he is, he's a shady ass priest. Well, apparently, he's this way. Alright, fuck it. We're going up the hill, but Roach. Like, the music starts like, dun, 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 dun. it's like, wait, where are you going? Nope. Roach, this is the wrong way. Cliff! Faster. It, it's a little difficult, Geralt. He's falling down a hill. Thank you. Giddy up. Slow now. Whoa. Fucking bandits, man. Oh. oh. What? Lost your nerve? These guys are super strong for me. Oh god. So surrounded. So surrounded. This is not good. We're gonna die. I haven't saved in a while. Oh shit. Well, that did good for me because it knocked him off his horse. I will eat the bread. Hi guys. Conjure it, bastards, conjure it. I am a witcher, that's what I do. Alright, it's just me and you. It's just me and you. Come on, Oliver, get off the mic stick. God, I killed him. Okay, before I unlock you, I'm gonna loot all these bodies. That's a master sword of some type. It's another Nova Gradient longsword. What? Oh, come on.
I was just trying to get my way to go talk to some crazy priests, and here you all are coming trying to make my life a fucking hassle. Coming in here trying to murder me. Alright, let's check my inventory. What's my durability doing? 99, 93, 99, 98, 73, that's not good. 77. Oof, I gotta up I gotta fix those swords up. Mmm. Um, ooh, plus two. Not bad. Ooh, the yard sign. That's that's pretty good. The damage is about the same, but does help the yard sign. I feel like that'd be a good one to sell or break down. That one's not bad. Thirty-eight to forty-six. Yeah, it's up by two. But this one has a place for the slot and it's got armor piercing so we'll keep that as it is next store next city we get to we're oh right hey man look from the store by the bridge across the pond tower Got goods for the army mostly. But I'll make an exception for you. Look from his store. Sure. Look at that, I saved a merchant. Uh we will not meditate here because I'm afraid they will wake up if that happens. So we're gonna save. Cause it's been a while. Go, go. Are you guys bad guys? Transit passes at terrific prices. Not so fast, Roach. Shady merchant. Why not? Interest you in a pass. Cheapest around, right here. What kind of pass are we? Yeah, what are we talking about, man? You don't know. Redanians hold all the fords across the Pontar. Can't get through with our pass. But you're in luck. So happens I've got a few to sell. What? Could dress up like Radovid and buy a gilded carriage for that much. What am I to do if you can't afford it? No deal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Might have a little work for you. Reduce the price for a job well done, eh? <sighs> Gotta think it over. So long. Maybe I'll come back. I have no need to cross the bridge yet. This guy should be right over here, right? He said he'd be by the river. Oh, yeah, he's right here. Okay. There he is. I just had to take like two more steps forward. Well, Witcher, Always good to have Quen ready to go, just in case. Why do you priests take an interest in the fallen so late? The Church of the Eternal Fire's first duty is to the living. You've no notion of the work we did just after the battle. The wounded needed tending, refugees, pastoral care. Sure. Sermons to deliver, donations to collect. Relieved to hear it. What would the people have done without you? So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive. Ooh, what are we going to find out? What are we going to find out, everybody? What do you mean? Fistek dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Very curious what story. I mean, we know what story. 
I would purchase this story from you for all time, exclusively. Um, sure, how much money? Deal. Take this and get out of my sight. Sixty crowns. I'll take it. I'll probably heal up or fix up the bit of my sword. So where am I in the map? Oh, okay, so that's the big city there. Oh, another quest board. Let's see about talking to some people at the bridge. See what's up with this whole pass deal. Maybe I'll also find a crossroad sign. Ooh, another contract. Woodland Beast, that one might be a bit out of my... Uh, might be a bit out of my... Ooh, no, level 6, I can do that one. Okay, cool, yeah, we'll, we'll see about doing that soon, too. Halt! No passage. Bridge is closed. Because? Because King Radovich said it should be. Won't let anyone through who don't have a pass. Who issues these passes? Why, you need to know. Your kind don't get passes anyway. Not the right time. <laughs> Racist. Come on, give it a good think. I'm sure you know where I can get a pass. Uh, yeah. Royal officials issue them. But they're also available on the black market. From who? Don't know the names. Ask folk around the crossings. They'll know more. All right. Do just that. Farewell. So, yeah, I need a pass. I guess I'll go back and talk to that shady merchant. Hey, merchant. Oh, you again. Looking for a pass? I've got a special price for you. No deal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. My what about that job? For you. Tell me about the job. A price for a job well done, eh? What kind of work? Nearby. Just to the southeast. My sister's husband's got a business. He and some lads tidy up battlefields. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Problem is... There's always swarms of shite bothering them, you know, them monsters drawn to corpses. Give them some protection, and I'll swing you one beautiful discount. Ah. Uh, I don't have delusion one. I didn't realize this would start to come in play so quickly I'll think it over see what I can do it's just over here to work on my sword. Be 
because I am it is taking a beating. Oi, hey there, come in. What is it? Got work for you, because you look to me eyes like a witcher. Am I right? What do you need? Need from the men to finish their work unharmed. But we got corpse seekers coming out all the while. Alright, so I guess we gotta deal with these corpses. Give you a share. Deal. My sword is gonna suck in a moment. Well, apparently I failed at that Witcher quest. Because they're all dead. I guess I'll loot their dead bodies and we'll be on our way. Sorry, buddy. Didn't say I was a good witcher. Curious, what's my silver sword sitting at? 65! Ooh, yeah, that's not good. Uh, quests, I'm curious, because there should be... Failed quests. Ah! Yeah, suggested level 9. I am level 4, so that is not happening. My bad, bud. I mean, I tried. Oh, you again. Looking for a pass? I've got a spell. I actually ran into your brother-in-law. Tended to the monsters too, but he was killed. What? You pulling me leg? No. Nope. Forget my offer. It's off the table. You get. Oh wow! He won't even. He won't even give me a pass in. Oh wow, okay, so that's a development. So because I failed, I can't get... Oh man, okay. I should've just bought it from him when I had the chance. Would've been easier. Okay, well, what, what can we do now? Because I just fucked that all to shit. Guess I could technically try to go across the land here, but I don't need to go that far north yet. So, I guess we'll deal with that when we get there. Commandeer a boat or something. Or maybe I'll be able to get an official to give me a pass. 
but I need to get back to the inn at the crossroads. I need to meditate, is what I need to do. I've not meditated in a while. All I had to do was protect the one brother-in-law, too, and I just couldn't even do that. Oh, well. I tried. Sometimes the Witcher doesn't save everybody. He tries, but it doesn't work all the time. So, you know, it is what it is. All right, Roach, let's go across the road. Maybe we'll find some more uh, crossroads signs as we do it. Hopefully we will. Go talk to this spy and see what's up. Wild dog, huh? Sorry, pup. Come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah, what's up? Is it, you it's a you? kid? A week back. Half a charred squirrel and a handful of berries. Shit. Why are you out here alone? Where are your parents? Blackens killed some of them. Others kicked us out themselves. Too many mouths to feed, they said. Here, be sure to share it with the others. Thank you. Here, for you, for your kindness. What do you do? What or what'd she do? I just saved some starving children. I was given a doll. I'll take it. And a book. Works for me. Are we gonna do a signpost anytime soon? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, I'm already back in town. Wow, that was quick. It is very quick to traverse this continent. Because where did I just come from? I just went literally from there to there in like two seconds flat. All right, so I gotta find this guy. I feel like he's gonna be behind the building. These kind of shady contacts are always behind buildings. Ooh, herbs. Behind the building? Guess not. Must be in the building. Key required, huh? Well, let's talk to the innkeeper. Maybe he'll know. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. Alright, so I guess we're just waiting for him. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. I haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape, vodka. Who's this? A brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? That I do. Got oh, two. Great boy. What's the point of having two swords? 
Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters. The other, for humans. Only got one prick, though. In case you're wondering about that, too. <laughs> Just the one prick. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lot. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. Or the bench you can use. A lot of benches. I step in the hut. And there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. I'm glad I didn't, you know, create another barroom brawl. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Not if I can help it. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything well, that can't be good for me. Hendrik. Odd fellow. A strange glow. Probably murdered already. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. All right. I guess I've got to go to Heatherton. So let's be on our way then. Ah! Roach, why ain't you moving? There we go. So where's Heatherton? Not too far, I don't imagine. Just down the road. Okay. So off we go. To the next town over. Hopefully I'll cross a signpost on the way there. Which probably should. You normally you normally do. Oh, the low waters. Slow and roach down, huh? Oh, I went the wrong way. Put my back on the road, please. Put me back on the road. Head into this town. Gonna talk to a spy. I mean, that's what we do. Talk to spies. Wait, we're cutting across. I appear to be stuck. I really do. I am completely stuck. Roach has frozen on the rocks. There we go. And now Roach is stuck on another rock. Take it easy. Yeah. Keep underestimating rocks. Well, it made it to Heather's end. Like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day. The mist. Oh, shoot. This can't be good. A lot of rabid dogs. Poor baby. Sorry, buddy. Be gone. Leave me be, whoever you is. Get away! Calm down. It's over. I'm looking for a man. You seen him. 
Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Mm. It's snowed here. I imagine the wild hunts come through. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream, how he can suffer. Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. Who? Oh, flashback. The sun was waning, see? And the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange. The toads. I cannot hear them. Well, this is not good. Yep, definitely not good. Not a good time for the village. Not a good time at all. It's because those are serious. So the wild hunts on her trail. Will that be a very dead man? So what does that mean for me and my mission? Weren't here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell. And peace of mind to you. It's <laughs> gonna need it. All right, well, let's explore. First, let me get my uh, dead dog stuff here. Thank you for the raw meat. All right, now we're going to come over here and see what we can do as far as this Hendrix hut. Well, that is a dead man. So I'll just take your platter. Examine the body. Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Should check his boots. Blood. Congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Always seems like the boots are where you gotta look. Keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. Hidden under the rug? There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. Hey! I found a secret passage. Uh, nope, don't use it. Loot. Tamara Stranger, daughter of the Bloody Baron, presumed kidnapped. Good to know. Valuables left unlocked, on display, almost. Lost his mind, or... Mm. Hmm, interesting. 
So the money he left out in the open because he had a hidden, a hidden uh, stash. When they didn't care about people finding. Because this is where his real treasure lies. A ledger. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrik was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. What do we find out, Geralt? Interesting headings. advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. That would be the wild hunt. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talk to Baron at Crow's Perch. So I should go talk to the Baron, Baron at Crow's Perch. Perch. Subject landed in swamp. Encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Siri. Thus the torture. So we are on the trail of Siri. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. Alright. Don't fall in. Duh. Right, so let's look at these quests. So in Siri's footsteps, I have to find out if she was in Skellig, find out if she was in Velen, and if she was in Novigrad. Well, she was obviously in Velen, so I need to go talk to the Bloody Baron. I also need to hunt down this witch. And I should visit Triss at her house when I get to a higher level. I also need to, at some point, Go to Skellig. I am level four. These are not impossible, but they are difficult. Acquire a pass. But I think next time we meet everybody, we are going to go ahead and get this Witcher contract out of the way. Well, no, first, actually, we should go to the Baron's place so I can find a forge to fix my shit, because I don't want my shit to break. Um, and then we will go on the contract. So I will make that as an, I'll make that as a note for myself, but thank you all for watching. I'm having a real fun time uh, playing this Witcher game, and I hope you guys are enjoying me along for this journey too. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.